All right, quick sit rep for the month. I want to show you how I've got to this point of having so much money and credit in my Octopus account. I also want to show you how I've got here, where we're going and why I'm still sticking with the strategy of no home storage battery, at least for now. And it seems to be paying off for me. Quick reminder of my setup before we go any further. I've got 22 solar panels on my roof. I've got six 430 watt panels facing southeast. I've got 16 430 watt panels facing northwest. It's a total of 9.46 kilowatt peak. And I've got a SunSync 8.8 .8 kilowatt inverter. I've got no home storage battery but we are a fully electrified house we have a valent heat pump no gas boiler no gas stand in charge and an induction hob as well remove the gas hob and now we've got an electric car as well so this would be the first full month of running the electric car so before we get into the monthly breakdown, this is what we're looking at for over the year so far. This is from the beginning of January until now. We have exported £795 worth of energy and we've imported £515 worth of energy. So you can see we're building up a healthy credit, but you can clearly see that I've got £1,557 credit, but the difference between £795 and £515 is only 280 pounds so i should have that much credit but on top of that i've had 500 pounds in referrals friends family and some viewers that have uh, signed up using my octopus link so thank you if you have you get a free 50 pound credit on your account and me too as well and then the rest the 777 pounds left was overpaid direct debit basically because octopus were for ages holding me to ransom over a much higher direct debit because they were used to my high gas bills from having a gas boiler those massive were slashed massively when we had the heat pump installed and then we had the solar panels installed and my bills just fell through the roof my consumption that they were billing me but eventually we got there so here's the figures for september 411 kilowatts exported 61 pounds of credit basically uh, 303 kilowatts imported at a cost of 52 pounds so the average import rate on agile for the month of september was 13.7 pence so that is up from the average average import rate for August but still it's still lower than what we would export at so our priority was always exporting as much energy as we possibly can so here's the totals it gives us a net profit of £9.18. The standard charge is removed from the calculation because if I didn't have solar on my roof, I would still be paying standard charge. There is no uplift in the standard charge for people who have solar and there's no surcharge for exporting. Currently, things may change in the future, but that's the way it goes. So I hope that goes to show that this is clearly that should say september i've messed up my slides this is not the august generation total this is september but it's clear that october will be the first month of eating into the credit that we've built up here you go showing the generation versus the forecast once again we are producing more than we were forecast to produce and i am hopeful in the month of october we will tip over the seven megawatt hours of solar production on my system which was the goal i kind of set and what i was hoping for so here you go the 6.9 megawatts we were up to by the end of september so october we should surpass that hopefully and the export versus import you can see now in the month of september the import increasing significantly and the export dropping significantly so october will be the first month where the import will be more than the export and here it is in pounds and pence as you can see the the gap is fairly similar um but uh let's keep moving let's try and keep this snappy this time so here once again this shows the generation compared to the export according to my sunsink inverter and this shows our heat pump consumption up a little bit for September. It's going to go up a lot for October. So brace yourself for next month. I'll start talking about a little bit more detail about the heat pump, the COP that we're achieving and how that's all working for us. Here's the figures for September. 
the best day was 32.9 worst 5.8 and the mean at 20 kilowatts so you can see we are well down on the pre previous few months and then the one that all everyone is always very interested in the northwest versus southeast aspect which has taken a bit of a uh, nosedive compared to the previous month but it's still performing okay uh, the surface area of our solar panels 27% of our solar panel surface areas on southeast 73% of our solar panels are on the northwest roof but in terms of generation our northwest roof generated 64 percent and southeast at 36 now that the sun's getting lower and lower in the sky we are noticing a fall off in the performance of those so per panel production the southeast panels generated over the month 36 kilowatt hours per panel and the south the northwest panels 25 kilowatt hours per panel so that still compares very favorably compared to the 50 percent rule of thumb that everyone told me our 64 percent is well in excess of that and of course although this is down from previous months i'm interested to do the calculations at the end of a full calendar year to see actually where we lie i'm i'm guessing that actually 64 percent is probably a representative figure over the course of the whole year so what about optimizers? Um, here's some great data. One of the interesting points always is that we have 2.58 kilowatt peak or potential on that roof and we reached a peak of 2.77 kilowatts um, even though it was a terrible month for solar. So anyone that tells you in the UK you can't reach the peak potential of the solar panels, they're talking absolute rubbish. It doesn't actually take a lot from what I'm experiencing. Um, all it takes is slightly cool temperatures, <clears throat> a bit of a breeze to keep the panels cool and then some direct sunlight without any cloud or haze or mist or anything and you're well over the peak power so you can easily clip smaller inverters or micro inverters. We are now starting to see a little bit more of the shade so we're seeing that the optimizers are working a little bit more. Uh, our September self consumption 198 kilowatt hours and the export 411.55 so as you may know if you watch on my previous videos I'm on the octopus agile tariff and so we are trying to export on the fixed tariff at 15p per kilowatt hour and we're trying to use as much of that cheap agile energy so we we're load shifting our appliances we set the timers before we go to bed or you know some of them have a daily timer anyway like a hot water cycle so that they're working hard at 2 or 3 a.m in the morning when it's cheapest so this is the export you can see that we are well down our best day was 27.9 worst was just two kilowatt hours we exported on one day and then the mean of 13.5 and this shows the breakdown of how much was exported and how much of it was self-consumed and what that looks like in pounds and pence Let's move on. If once again, if you want to join, oh, this is too much octopus plugin. Next slide. Okay, and the little uh, feel good uh, factory of the stats that uh, still can't be changed unless I use some other way of generating these metrics, either manual calculation or using something like Home Assistant to plug in some of these figures. These are wildly optimistic, but it's, it's interesting to see anyway. This was our best day of generation. And as you can see, it was still all over the place with cloud cover. And especially in the evening, I'm not exactly sure what happened if this was a big cloud or what happened i think also some of the trees at the rear of our property are starting to come into play a little bit now as the sun's a little bit lower in the evening but it shows that we still uh, got got up to five kilowatts of generation on this day at uh, almost uh, that's not 13 55 a.m i should really check these slides a lot more carefully at 2 p.m we got up to there but you were we're generating one kilowatt already by 7 55 a.m so happy with the wake up time and the startup voltage once again our payback period uh, initially it was projected at six years eight months um the last time i calculated it was down actually at five years three months i need to update this slide and i'm gonna do a specific video about payback and how that's all looking but i wanted to keep this kind of condensed so thank you for watching 
Last month, this video got well over 20,000 views, but 99% of you aren't subscribed to the channel and don't like the video and won't leave a comment. I invite you to do all of those things. If you subscribe, you're more likely to see my content in the future. If you like the video, it will really help it spread to other people to help the algorithm reach people a broader uh, demographic of people and if you leave a comment that also helps with the interaction so thank you for watching until next month goodbye